guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I've put together this really lovely, easy to do, uh, glossy eyelids, bare minimal on eyes, and paired with a beautiful bright red orangey lipstick. Um, this is a complete spring inspired tutorial, uh, goes perfectly for the beautiful women we've got outside at the moment. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I put this together, please continue watching, and welcome to the guys that have just um, joined. I suppose just by watching my videos, I guess after almost a year of filming, I still feel kind of like nervous. I don't know. But yep, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's, let's get started. So I've already primed my skin and moisturised. To moisturise, I've used the L'Oreal Hydra uh, Genius. It's from their new L'Oreal Skin Experts line. It looks a little like this. So this is basically, I'm using the one that's suited for combination, so normal to combination skin. And I've got combination skin, so my skin gets really dry and oily throughout the day. So this will help mattify my skin and uh, keep it hydrated at the same time. So I'm using my trusty NYX primer here. So it's the Born to Grow Liquid Illuminator. Uh, you can tell I'm running out basically. But I've been using this way. So let's jump right into it. So I am not going to apply any primer because it's a glossy lid video tutorial. You get my drift, guys. Um, I'm just going to apply this directly onto my lid. This is seriously a quick and easy use of go to. Quick and easy eye look. Um, I don't need to spend that long on it at all. So tap off the excess and apply it to the other lid. Just using a sort of like patting motion basically. So you can see that's quite flexy a little gold becks in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a nice sort of like brown shade just to put into the crease, just to find it a little bit, nothing too crazy, um, just so that my eyes look slightly more defined. So I'm going to pick up this brown shade here, that one there, and I'm going to pop it into my crease. Picking that up on my brush, I'm going to tap a any excess so we have no fall out, but that doesn't matter because we'll put foundation on that. So I'm going to pop this in here. And you can see circular motion so it blends nicely. Just have a little bit more, but I won't put too much in there because it's going to be a glossy lid. Runway style eye look, so we don't want it to be so defined and so crazy in the eye. We want this to look like we are going to pair this with a bright red lip. It's a sort of spring inspired look. So just take a lovely brindy brush like this I'm just going to blend this all into place so it looks seamless and there's no harsh edges you guys know my flow already the more blended your makeup looks the more natural and beautiful it looks just want to blend that in I want the gold eyeshadow to be pretty subtle as well so you know but I want to be really harsh or anything blend that out and let's move on to the next part. So for this, what I want to do is I want to use something glossy. Um, so that it isn't going to just slide off my lids completely. So I am picking up a bit of lip balm. So I'm going to use the Carmex one. Uh, the Carmex Classic Moisturising Lip Balm. I'm going to pop it on the back of my hand. And then with my fingers, I am going to pop this on to my eyelid. So I got it on the back of my hand there. I'm just going to use my ring finger, get a little bit, um, and then 
I just want this on my lid, thank you. Yeah, I want it on my face and something like that. Just on my lid. And then same on the other. So this is sort of like runway spring inspired look. I kind of see the stuff on the magazines and, you know, fashion shows and so forth. I actually was quite inspired by Kenny Canadian's uh, YouTube tutorial that she did. Pretty similar to this one, obviously, quite recently. So at the beginning, I think it was the end of March or something to put it up. And I absolutely loved it. So I went out last weekend with my husband and um, thought what I would out this look and I absolutely love the whole no eyeliner sort of look. So now that's all done, um, you can probably see it's glossy, you can see some of the gold flecks, you can kind of see the crease. I wanted to find that a little now so I'm going to pick up some eye pencil and let's move forward. So you can keep it like that or you can get a bit of eyeliner, extensible. I'm using coffee by Max, it's a nice brown and stretch this a little bit and I'm gonna push this into the last one. Okay. I'm like I'm just gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid and I'm gonna put it on the back of my lid So taking a bit of an angled pencil, angled liner brush like this, I am going to smoke out pencil liner. Wing it out a little. So you really can't see a lot of it but I kind of like how it pulls the look together. Um, when you apply mascara. I'm going to apply it a little bit more towards the outer corner. Take a little bit more. Hopefully I'm not doing what I usually do and look down a lot where you guys can't really see what I'm doing. Um, someone did actually recently comment on one of my videos and kind of pointed out that I looked down a lot where my head gets cut up and you can't see what I'm doing and I'm really sorry. I kind of formed the habit of forgetting that I'm filming quite a lot so I try not to do that many videos but So I've got a bit of black eyeshadow on the same brush and I'm just going to get that out a little bit more. Now you can kind of see that shadow a bit more. I'm just applying this to like the out corners. I don't want this look to look really like me, you know. I 
there. I know I said you'd be out of corners but I ain't not doing it. But it's all the middle of the bar. Do it the other way. So all I'm doing is I'm just like pressing the end. I'm not even really sliding a cut because I prefer the bottom. So for this I'm going to be using the test that I have to the Isalaban foundation. Foundation. I forgot what it was called. So I'm using these four sleeves for this. Um, I don't know if my lighting's really good right now. I just feel like it is. But I'm going to be popping this literally into my mirror around first. That might help. Directly to my face, I suppose. Oh crap! Oh my god. That gave me such a fright. My mirror almost fell on me then. That really did give me almost a heart attack. Oh, it felt like it could be a heart attack, and I'm sure I am pretty sure my foundation just yep splattered on my top. Looking great, just great. So, taking my lovely Mac 130 brush, I am going to blend this into my skin. I think this is probably the second time. very natural, it's very matte. Um, I don't usually wear matte foundations. Purely because I, I choose not to. Taking my larger stippling brush by MAC, the 107, I am going to blend this all into place. So the reason why I don't even wear matte foundation is because I, I find them too drying for my skin. Um, super dry. Really, so I, I do stay away from it, but I wanted to try that because I heard a lot of people raving about it. And, um, let's give it a shot. I'm not trying to I'm keen on it. I mean, it looks lovely. In the sense of, like, it just looks really lovely on the skin. So I don't mind, and it's got really good coverage too. Mine it in that sense, but I don't know whether I'd actually buy one. I'm not entirely totally certain yet. This is the finished look. I absolutely love how quick and easy it is to literally pull this look together. Though, when I'm not filming, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to pull this look together. But when you're filming, it takes a bit longer because you're filming all the intervals and short clips. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's really, really easy to do. Uh, it's, you know, it's really quick on the eyes and you know, really quick in terms of adding a bit of contouring, you don't need to do that, you can just, you know, uh, from contouring, you don't need to do too many, just hit it from, just set it, really up to you, but I love how simple the eyes are, and how you can pair it with a really nice bright orange and red lip, um, yeah, and, and my hair, obviously it's growing quite a bit, um, compared to when I got it a bit shorter in, uh, in January, which is good, so I want it to grow now. I just want it to grow out. I feel like I haven't had short long enough. <laughs> um, this is day two of my curls. I curled it yesterday morning before going to work. And it starts to drop. I kind of like the whole wavy sort of messy look. It kind of brings together. So, yep, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial. Um, 
I hope you really enjoyed me putting this look together. I know it's been a while since I have filmed anything. Um, like I said, it's just I went through a phase where I was just really busy for the last couple of months and kind of felt like a little lazy as well. Um, I wouldn't say that I ran out of inspiration of what to film or anything like that. Um, it's just been pretty hectic for me. Um, but I am back on it. I want to get this video up as soon as possible for you guys to see and I'll get some more out as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this bad tutorial and give it a thumbs up if you really liked it. And um, all the products that I use will be in the description box below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend and enjoying the sunshine. Bye.